-hmm. Hello, and welcome to Case of the Day. I'm Dr. Crowley, and uh, today we're going to discuss an interesting patient who came in today with a several year history of red irritated eyelids that would come and go, and at times their eyes themselves would also become red. And so on examination, I found that she had a disease called blepharitis. So what is blepharitis? <clears throat> blepharitis is an infection and or inflammation around the edge of the lids where the eyelashes are located. And sort of an old time uh, term, uh, especially in children, was called granulated eyelids. And so people tend to have crusting of their eyelashes when they get up in the morning. And the crusting could be anywhere from just a little bit to a significant amount of crusting that's easily visible even to just someone looking at somebody's eyes. When we do an eye exam, we're using a microscope and the microscope lets me see even finer detail and so I can even see mild crusting that would not necessarily be obvious to the average person. So this person had blepharitis. It's unfortunately a chronic problem for many people. Uh, we don't know why someone gets blepharitis and somebody else doesn't. Um, it does tend to occur, generally speaking, in young people or children and then sort of returns and becomes more of a problem in uh, older adults. Maybe this has to do with the changes in, a, in their immune system in a young person, their young immune system, but uh, that's what we tend to see. Uh, basically, the um, the reason why this comes and goes is sort of a slow smoldering kind of disease and it's not something that is acute like a regular infection. This is something that's chronic. And it, like I said, it can be either an inflammation or infection. So it's related to a seborrheic skin condition. So it may not be any infection at all or a staph bacteria that hangs around the eyelashes and proliferates there. And the treatment for there for blepharitis is a variety of things. One, we need to clean your eyelashes and lids off to get the crusting and mattering off because that, that material irritates your eye, causes your eyes to itch, and makes, and makes them red. So what do we do? Well, we have a system uh, that was produced by Ocusoft that are, comes in little pads, and these eye pads are sort of like an alcohol wipe, but not... Of course, they wouldn't have alcohol because it would burn your eye, but they have an antiseptic soap in the pad. And so after you uh, get up in the morning, the first thing we do is tell people to take a hot washcloth, put it in hot water, as hot as they can reasonably stand it without burning themselves, hold it up to their eyes. When it cools down, back in the hot water, back up to their eyes for about 10 minutes first thing in the morning. Then take this little pad, and follow the directions and scrub the eyelashes off to clean that off their lashes. If you do this, you have not touched an eyelash. You have to keep the eye open and actually scrub and clean the eyelashes off. So that's one thing is lid hygiene to keep the lids cleaned up. Another thing that we can use for lid hygiene is this is the same kind of antiseptic but it's in a foam or a bottle. So if you if you wanted to use the scrubs in the morning to clean the, the lashes off as they've crusted up through the night, then that's great. But at night, if you wanted to still stay a little more aggressive about treating this, you can take this foam, squirt a little bit on your finger, and rub the foam into your eyelashes to help keep the bacteria under control and keep the lashes cleaned up. We also have a bigger bottle, and this, this is more of a soap, not so much an antiseptic but for some people they like the soapy feel and so this is a soap but this that's the same kind of product we also put people on antibiotics and sometimes a combination of an antibiotic and steroid so that controls any bacteria that are there and the steroid is anti-inflammatory which cuts down on the inflammation associated with blepharitis so that's a very common treatment we don't we do that acutely when the when the problem is flared up but we don't keep people on the long-term treatment with that. The other thing that we do a lot of times is there uh, we put people just like children that are put on uh, doxycycline or tetracycline kind of pills or antibiotics the, for long-term acne problems we do that for blepharitis too. So people who uh, have chronic and just doesn't respond 
um, and keeps coming back and recurring, we put them on doxycycline for sometimes four to six months and that helps and calms the eye down. And another product that we use very commonly, it has an antibiotic effect and an anti-inflammatory effect, is called azocyte, which is an eye drop. The nice thing about the azocyte is it can be used once at bedtime uh, and it works very well as well. So blepharitis is very common. We see it very often in the office. It is a chronic sort of sometimes difficult problem to treat and it takes a lot of diligence and work by the patient to keep their lids clean, to keep the hygiene up, and use the different products available um, to help with their problem. So if you have any questions about blepharitis or any other thing, any other eye disease, we'll be happy to try to answer those or talk about those. And if not, uh, may God bless you with healthy eyes and great vision.